What are some R-rated things that probably happen in the world of Harry Potter that the story doesn't address? A couple taking polyjuice potion with each other's hair to bang each other is each other. Well holy fuck I would have never thought of that, but that's exactly what would actually happen. There's gotta be another way to conjure a copy of a person with relative ease in the world JK Rowling laid out, right? The implications around love potions and spells are disturbing to think about. Even the books touch on it a little bit with Voldemort's parents. I guarantee there is at least one person out there who is addicted to Felix Felicis, the luck potion from Half-Blood Prince. I mean, if it can get you a perfect day, don't you think there is someone out there who brews that stuff on bulk, or even a company that just sells that, and uses it every day to try and have a perfect life? Maybe there's a rehab center or a Felicaholics Anonymous for people who are Felix Felicis addicts trying to quit, similar to actual drugs in the muggle world. What exactly was Aberforth doing with those goats? Inappropriate charms can mean quite a few things. It's a school with a hundred empty classrooms and abandoned spaces with hundreds of horny teens running around. I want to know more about wizard birth control. They've gotta have better shit than we do. I'm sure they would have a potion that makes them temporarily infertile. I mean, why wouldn't they? They've got magic for fuck's sake. I read someone else mention this on Reddit a while ago and it amused me. The fact that McGonagall turns into a cat means that everyone has almost certainly seen her anus. Accidental genital mutilation by incorrectly using enlarging charms. Someone probably at one point stuck their wand up their own ass and used an illumination spell to turn themselves into a jack-o'-lantern. I know I would. In the last book, it's mentioned that many of the first-year wizarding students had simply gone missing without explanation, because of the Death Eaters on the loose. These kids are never found. It's pretty frickin' dark to imagine the Hogwarts Express getting stopped and boarded, and all the young first-year students getting escorted to concentration camps. It just takes one asshole which slash wizard to get away with a whole lot of sexual assault. Who needs a roofie when you can stun someone and wipe their memory after? I've always wondered how many sexual mishaps Madame Pomfrey has to deal with. Like, there has to be male students who tried an engorging charm at one point or another and it backfired. What about STDs? Do wizards have different STDs? Newt Scamander said that muggles have different physiologies than wizards, in context of medications. That said, can a muggle born introduce a new STD to the wizarding community? There has to be birth control charms or potions, as you never hear of pregnant students at Hogwarts. Is there an abortion spell slash potion? Is this controversial in the wizard world? Is there a spell that girls can use to intentionally stop a period? I mean, if you can magically straighten teeth or have skilo grow, I don't see it as being that far-fetched. An animagus turning into an animal to fuck other animals? Mad-Eye Moody had an eye that could literally see through people's clothes, and he taught in a school with minors. Think about that. Memories. When you can transfer them so freely as wizards, do you can live out the sickest desires while never having to commit the crime yourself? There was this one bit in the books where Ron was practicing cheering charm spells and did it wrong and ended up being all giddy and laughing and had to be led away for an hour. Charm junkies. There would just be a bunch of wizards sitting in a basement duplicating and transfiguring food and water while spending the rest of the time constantly ecstatic on cheering charms. What flying on a broomstick for hours on end does to a man's parts that must not be named. I wonder if Quidditch players have special protection for their little chaps. I hope so, for sure. The story of what really happened to Umbridge when she was taken by the centaurs. Students hooking up, doesn't even need to be any magic involved. Maybe someone using their potions or herbology skills to make some wizard drugs. I can see Fred and George doing this. <laughs>